All right, so for the emissive, uh, same as the opacity, remember that when you start a PVR uh, project, uh, it doesn't have that channel. So as you can see, I cannot paint anything that is emissive. So we need to go first to the texture set settings. Here we go plus and create a new emissive channel. So now we can actually go and paint that. So now let's go go to this texture set. And so it's obviously this section here. And so let's go somewhere here. Let's create a new fill. Sorry, no. Uh, new fill layer. So let's go abyssive turbine. Okay. And for this, we don't need height, we don't need roughness, we don't need metal, normal. But actually, wait. Uh, for some reason, I didn't create it. There you go, emissive. There. Ah, oh, no, sorry, because you have to do it at every texture set, unfortunately. So you have to, like, if you're going to do it in a lot of places, you have to go one by one. Okay? So, clearly here, we obviously need to do our black mask, but now we have emissive. So here, let's go with color. And let's do a clouds. Probably there's some clouds like so. And then let's make sure that we have the proper mask attached to it. Let's do paint and let's go and go uvs and select this okay so now actually let's do instead of this let's actually go with the base color of like a well, like an intense blue i really like blue and it's going to get um darker away from this so this is this now we're going to go and add a fill and this fill is going to be the clouds. And this is going to be applied as a overlay. Yeah, something like this. But now, so I don't know if I need it as well in color. I think maybe I can just have it exactly what I'm doing in emissive. So under emissive let's actually go and just go clouds and it's like that and then here emissive let's do the same color there you go so now here is not going to look like much and that is because we need to tweak a couple of settings uh under painter so you can actually show the um, this guy okay so in order to do that we have to go to the display settings and first uh actually you know at the shader level we have the emissive intensity right but as you can see this kind of like just overexposes it but at the same level we need to do at the display settings the glare so here if we do the threshold and lower it let's change this to just regular bloom and here's where you need to like play a little bit right because everything right now by default is going to glow right so you need to really increase the threshold. So only the things that are really blown out are the things that are going to um, really start glowing. Okay, so with the emissive, we're going to just, it's going to be so intense that we're just going to lay the foundation here to have enough information in the emissive channel. So on your, eventually to when you put it in the game engine, then there you're going to have a little bit more control. Right, so usually, even the coloring, probably you would leave it to do it in the game engine. So here, I'm just going to give it a little bit of texture, right? 
and then in this case just to have something here in painter let's actually add a filter and here let's do a color gradient this is going to help us colorize this so again under emissive and in this case let's look for the different colors that you're going to have so again really light blue then really dark blue and almost white right so this is going to help us have something to show for and here i'm just going to add paint and what i want to do with this one is just make sure that we have like maybe like a center area where it's a little bit more um pronounced the effect right so like this and of course i can change the opacity of this wait this paint let me just make sure that i am yeah i am in the emissive oh wait so oh really is not letting me so you know what if it's not letting me do that let's just go and let's add it again but in this case let's just change the flow to almost nothing so this is going to help us when we uh, edit it further in Unreal, Marmoset, or whichever program you do next. So here, when we do the display settings, so first, actually, if we do the shader settings, you have the emissive intensity right here. So you can see how crazy you can get. And again, this is just based on the emissive right so if it didn't have anything in the emissive channel then this would not work at all so this is where we need to go then later on the display settings and with the glare see tone down this so then this doesn't glow as much but then this actually it is pretty intense to so i mean of course you, you don't want it to like be finessing here in um painter because usually this you would take care of it in your other software but i mean it's just still kind of cool to see here how it looks right So yeah, something like that. And again, the more emissive you do here, then the more you can lower the thresh, sorry, like increase the threshold, then everything else is not gonna glow anymore. And this is gonna work. So in this case, even like you can see just a little bit of how this kind of looks. So usually you just wanna keep it with a bloom, right? To keep it simple, right? here I'm just testing a little bit so see here's the difference right when we lower the threshold now this starts glowing so you don't want that and again remember this is just going to be for um for here right you're not gonna actually use it in you're not gonna do this kind of fine tuning in painter you know this definitely you would do it in the engine 